The living room was packed at 33 Rehov HaAmelim as the Mir Yeshiva was completing a brand new Sefer Torah. The Rosh Yeshiva of Nassim Tzvi Finkel got up to address the crowd, but as would often happen with his Parkinson's disease, he wasn't able to utter a word. And he tried, but he couldn't do it. But then he went over to the mantle of the Sefer Torah and he pointed to the words that were there. Ma ahavti sora secha, how I love your Torah. Kol hayom hisichasi, all day it is my conversation. And with those few words, he encapsulated his entire life. Rav Nassim Svi had an incredible love for learning Torah and in turn, an immense desire to give that Torah, to share it with so many other people. For example, Pinny, who came to the Mir in 1995 when there were around 4,000 Talmudim. And on the second Shabbos of the winter's man, Rav Nassim Svi asked him, he said, how's your Chavrusas going? He said, well, second Seder, I don't have a Chavrusa. Rav Nassim Svi told him, don't worry, come to my apartment tomorrow at three o'clock and we'll learn together. Well, the next day they learned from three o'clock till six o'clock and then it continued the next day and the next day all the way until Rosh Chodesh Nisan. It's estimated that he had around 80 chavrusas per week and all of this, despite his tremendous responsibilities, running the largest yeshiva in the world, similar to Rabbi Akiva, Rav Nassim Tzvi had approximately 25,000 Talmidim over all his years as being Rosh Hashiva. And he loved every single one of them. He created a chabura in the mirror for guys who did not do well in any other yeshiva, many of which were on the verge of leaving Yiddishkeit altogether. And as you would probably well imagine, a lot of these guys wouldn't even show up to morning seder. If they did, it would be very late. And a felon came over to Rav Nassim Svi and he said, listen, these seats are empty most of the morning. Is it possible that other guys can sit there at least until those Bahram come? And Rav Nassim Svi looked at him and he said, listen, what am I going to respond to a father that calls me up and says my son was just about to start getting into learning, but then he came in the base medrash and he saw somebody in his seat, so he left. And Rav Nassim Svi pointed to himself and he said, I am their father. And with all the love that he gave and all of his immense responsibilities, his love for learning Torah was something that never left Rav Nassim Tzvi. You know, his great uncle Rav Lazar Yudel had told him that if you want to become a great Gadol Bat Torah, you need to commit yourself to learning for 12 hours a day, which is something that he kept up for so many years. His son would say that over a typical Shabbos, he would spend around 17 hours learning. Bein Asmanim would come and he was free of other responsibilities. He would spend all day in uninterrupted learning. Rav Nassim Svi considered that to be his ultimate vacation. It's so hard for us to fathom how Rav Nassim Svi accomplished all of this despite having Parkinson's disease for 28 years. At the Shiva, there was a man who came in in a wheelchair and he told the family that he also had Parkinson's and he couldn't learn, he couldn't dive and he couldn't function until he went to the doctor and the doctor said that he was the same doctor as Rav Nassim Svi Finkel had and that his case was approximately one-tenth as bad as what Rav Nassim Svi had. Despite having a case of Parkinson's that was 10 times worse, Rav Nassim Svi Finkel was able to daven and learn every day. He was able to maintain all of his chavrusas. He was able to shoulder the incredible financial responsibility of the largest yeshiva in the world. And he was able to do chesed and express his love to all of his talmidim and to so many more people. Rav Nassim Svi would often tell people that there's no such thing as I can't. And unfortunately, the 11th of Cheshvan, 5772, Rav Nassim Tzvi Finkel passed away. And over 100,000 people packed the streets of Yerushalayim to escort him to Harmanuchos to his final resting place. On that day, the world recognized that Rav Nassim Tzvi Finkel was the ultimate role model. A person who, despite Parkinson's disease, was able to accomplish so much more than many people with healthy bodies put together. You know, we all have what we feel are our limitations. Limitations on how much I could learn, how much chesed I'm able to do for other people. But let us always remember the life of Rav Nassim Svi, someone who was so devoted, someone who had so much perseverance, who was able to always continue to push forward, and who always said, never say the words, I am.